Let's take this piano part, and we're going to look at a quick way to take a single part, duplicate it, and make something really interesting. So we're going to layer the same part, but just do a couple little tweaks to create a whole new texture with this. Here's the original piano, played pretty quickly actually. So you get the idea. Played this in one pass. The only thing I did to it was add some smart quantization with an eighth, eighth note grid to this. Then I wanted to add this marimba part just to, as an additional layer. So I just copied and pasted that part down. Let's sew this off. I'm going to turn off the arpeggiator, which is the thing I did next. But let's listen to without that. The only other thing I did right off the bat was to change the transposition of this up so that, let's see if we can see it here, can't, there we go, plus 12 for this transposition. The original would have put it down here. So I took it up one octave. And then I added the arpeggiator to it. Now here's what the arpeggiator looks like. I used the grid function and honestly I just drew in a couple of notes. I wanted to make sure it was the full 16 beats and then it had some leftovers on here. Let me play just a little bit so you can hear this pattern. A lot of times with the patterns, what I like to do is have downbeats covered and then as it's going back to the cycle that we do these groups of three, so it kind of leads back to that downbeat. It's actually possible to have a grid where that doesn't happen and it feels kind of off, but this one I think kind of really leads back to that downbeat. So here's the marimba part with that turned on. Mix back with that piano part. Last, I just added a simple bass part down here with the retro synth, just to add a little bit of that low part now that we're missing. So essentially just two different parts, the piano part and the bass part. The piano part doubled, altered a little bit. We did the octave up, we did the panning, and then we did the arpeggiator. Okay, so just a really quick way to layer things and, and actually have them really enhance each other without having to just record all new parts.